Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Nish Kumar Singh and we are talking about X-ray tutorials. As a part of today's tutorial, we'll be stepping into test set and test set is basically known as collection of tests which would be required to be contained together for any execution purposes. Now this categorization or test suite preparation can be done on any basis, no matter you want to collectively put all your unit level test cases or integration test cases or system, maybe acceptance test cases under a particular test suite. That's where a test set can be utilized. Not only for that, if you want to parameterize a test, you can also keep the uh, instantiation or parameterized test with the several set of test data under a test suite, which would be easy to operate and add to an execution test type, right? So to understand that, what exactly a test set is, how it is created in an X-ray instance, and how it can be beneficial for us for saving a lot of time while working with test executions, directly importing the test cases from there. Let's have a look on X-Ray. As a part of this tutorial, we'll be trying to understand how to create a test set in X-Ray, adding ex existing test or creating a new test in the test set, and calling a test set into an execution. In order to work with the test set, the very first thing is to create that issue type, which is the test set, which can easily understand within Jira interface that how exactly you can do and work with the test sets. So we have to just click on the create button and select the issue type as test set this time. A test set, first of all, is defined as a collection of tests or in simple terms, a test suite, where we can put multiple test sets or multiple tests under a particular tree. So it might happen that you might be required to run certain test cases which are required to be executed at once. So not all the tests are independent of each other. Sometimes you do have instantiation or maybe a parameterization, which you'll be learning in a short while and understanding that there might be few test cases put together which you want to run at once. Now this could be a need of a parameterization or it could be a need of regression testing as well where you want to collectively keep certain test cases together. So whenever you want to run all of them, you don't have to independently search each one of them and call it into a test execution, wasting a lot of your time. Now creating test set will give you the benefit of doing this job in just fraction of seconds. So that's what we are trying to do right now and clicking on creating a test set here and just set that up. So I would just say, for example, this is my exploratory uh, test set or you can even name it as test suite, which will be collection of tests. So it's just that uh, generically when you talk about the terminologies, you call it as test suite. But when it comes to the execution or tools, you always prefer to use the term as test set right now let's create it and now we have a test set with us it's time for us to start working on it so let's click on view issue here or refresh the page to see that in the list here so click on view issue which is mtp21 and it would have a provision to allow you to add tests under this particular test set so whenever you open this particular issue type you would find those tests under that so right now if you see here uh, we have got uh, the test segment here which is just getting loaded and it will allow us to add test under the test set to prepare the test suite all right so as soon as we create this test set the icon represents is the test set issue type which is coming from the x-ray interface and here we have the option just to add the test but when i click on add the test i have both the provisions that is to create a new test or add existing tests. You already know the new test will take up you to create a test and of course write all the steps and etc. Let's quickly jump into the existing test as we have got some tests with us and we can easily pull it into our interface. So say MTP 15, I drop out say MTP 16 and MTP 17. I click on add selected three and it would all just be clubbed together under the test set MTP 21 and we'll have all three sets. Now this is different than our test executions. You might be slightly getting confused that isn't it what we did in the test execution issue type as well? 
Yes, of course, you did the pretty much same. You added the test into a test execution, but you had different interface here to run the test. But this time, you just have a collection of tests put together. So at any point, if I say, I want to run tests related to login, register, etc., I will just have to come to the MTP21 and run it. But of course, can I run a test set directly? No. So this time you'll be calling in a test execution, right? For example, if I have to do an ad hoc test again, I'll say test execution and I would name it as ad hoc test two. And in this, I'll instead of calling three different tests, or let's take this in a larger scale, right? What if you have 30 test cases? So instead of calling 30 tests manually to this new particular uh, test execution, you can just import the test set. So it will be very simple and easy for us to manage all the test cases under a test set if you want to run multiple tests under certain scenarios, right? So if you want to run them independently or you want to do hand-picked uh, selection of the test cases, you can manually certainly do that by applying certain filter conditions. But when it comes to uh, running a set of tests or group of tests at any point of time, you can just create it as a test set and uh, pull it into the uh, test execution directly. So now if you see, I have an option to import test. It is a test execution. And if I click here, it gives me a provision either to create a new test, call an existing test, or test from the test sets, right? So I'll just click on this. Let me call the test from the test sets instead and drop down here and pick up MTP21, which I just created. And I say, add selected one. Now, it will just get added and display you all the tests, what you have under the test set. And uh, of course, you have great savings on time when running all these three. Ta-da! So what you see here is exactly like those three tests which I added in the test set. And there is no difference in the execution pattern. It does not tell me that it is a test set or something. I just imported all the tests from a particular test set. So that's the benefit of having a test set when you want to work with it within the executions part. And the applicability is anywhere, for example, you want to collectively put together all the unit tests, or you want to collectively put together integration tests, interface tests, acceptance tests, or tests related to any particular functionality. You can create all these test sets to put them together. And at any point you want to run them at a time, then you can always bring them. In fact, for the regression testing, if you have shortlisted few test cases to be a part of regression test suite, this test set can be useful there as well. And this is how you operate it within X-Ray. So I hope you had a good understanding and learning session from the test set of X-Ray. Uh, should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context team. Thanks for watching the video and happy learning.